Hello and welcome to Easy Ecom. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the process of recording GRN in the system for the growth plan. This feature enables you to locate inventory at your warehouse easily and ensures the listing of approved inventory only across marketplaces. Before we get started, let's quickly talk about what a goods received note really is. A goods received note is an internal document produced by the warehouse team after inspecting the goods once they have been delivered at the warehouse. GRNs will help you ensure that the right inventory is received in the right quantity at your warehouse. It can also help your finance department verify all invoices before payments and save time in handling any payment discrepancies with the seller in case they occur. Now that you know the importance of creating GRNs, let us understand how to create them in Easy Ecom. There are two ways to create GRNs in the system. You can either create them one by one or in bulk. Let us first walk through the process of recording GRNs one by one. This method comes in handy when you prefer recording GRNs against an individual purchase order. For creating GRNs one by one, first go to Purchase Orders and select Status as Approved. You may have purchase orders from multiple suppliers. To easily find out the purchase order you want to create a GRN for, set a date range and select a specific supplier. The system will now show you all the purchase orders sent to a supplier during the defined time duration. Click on View Details, select GRN, then select New GRN and enter the supplier invoice ID and date. In case you have not received the invoice from your supplier select the Invoice Later option. Now click on Create GRN and then add items you want to record in the GRN. You can add three types of items in the GRN. First product category includes products that can be added in the system at SKU level and do not require scanning of individual units. For example, toiletries like toothbrushes, comb, apparels, shoes etc. quantity received can be recorded in bulk. Second product category includes expensive products like electronic items, jewelry products, etc. Individual units of such products need to be scanned Hence these products come under the category of serialized items. Third are FMCG products that have an expiry date like packaged food, skincare products, etc. For this product category too, you can record the quantity received in bulk. You also have to compulsorily enter the batch code and expiry date. Now enter the shelf location to enable easy location of your inventory in the future. In case you reject an item during the quality check, enter the quantity rejected and the reason for rejection like damaged, color mismatch, wrong size, etc. For your quick reference during quality check, product image will be displayed on your screen. You can also view the complete product info like product color, size, and dimensions while performing the quality check. Your team can later download the GRN report to identify the reasons behind QC fail and take corrective measures timely. Once you have filled in all the details, save the GRN. You have now created a GRN against a purchase order and the products received will be now listed on your marketplaces. Sometimes, you may omit to assign a shelf or are unable to complete the quality check when the goods are received. In such cases, Click on the Later option to complete the shelving and quality check process at a later point. In case your warehouse team always completes the quality check and shelving process at a later stage, you can remove the quality check and shelving steps from the GRN process. In either case, the system allows you to complete these processes later on according to your warehouse team's time availability. In order to complete the quality check, navigate to Inventory, select Quality Check, and enter your purchase order. The system will automatically display your GRN and the SKU code. Enter your confirmed quantity and select Status as Pass, if the product has passed quality check, or else select Status as Fail. After completing the quality check, you have to assign the inventory items to a shelf at your warehouse. To do that, select Shelving and enter your purchase order. Enter your confirmed quantity and assign it to a shelf.
The products that have failed quality check can be assigned a particular shelf, for example QC fail or damaged, and your team can later on identify all the products that have failed QC by downloading shelf-wise stock report. Once you have completed the quality check and shelving of the received inventory, the products that have passed quality check will be listed across marketplaces. Moving on, I will explain to you how to record GRN in bulk. This method comes in handy when you inward multiple SKUs together at your warehouse and have completed the quality check. In order to record GRN in bulk, click on New GRN by Sheet and download the GRN template file. Enter the SKUs received, their quantity, the shelves where they will be stored, the total cost of purchase for each SKU, its QC pass count, QC fail count, and the reason why it was rejected in case of QC fail. Like I said earlier, in case you deal with electronics or any other expensive commodity, you should also enter the serial number. We suggest you enter batch codes, product dimensions, manufacturing date, and expiry dates, if applicable. This will enable you to record all inventory data in a single file. Upload this file to Easy Ecom. Enter the invoice details and click on Create GRN. That's it. You have now created a GRN in Easy Ecom. Please note that the GRN feature is not available in the starter plan. To make the most of this feature, upgrade to the growth plan today. In case there is anything else that you want to know about, please write to us at care at easyecom.io.